everyone. It's me, Demetra K of the Demetra K Show here on YouTube and the proud contributor of the African Diaspora News Channel and the African Diaspora News Insider. If you can do me a favor and subscribe to all channels and like this video, I would greatly appreciate it. So just the other day, well, actually it was in February, uh, James Washington and his wife, Yasmin, went out to a fine dining experience, right? So at least they thought they were. They went to Desi Vega's. It's a um, hot spot, a, a seafood and steak restaurant in New Orleans, Louisiana. And they said at first the date night was going well. They had great chemistry and camaraderie with their servers and everything like that. Um, the food was good. And then the bill came. And then uh, James said he noticed that there was a 20% gratuity attached to the bill. Now, it's not unusual that some restaurants will attach a tip to the bill already, but usually that's when there's a lot of people at the table, right? Like the party is large. They'll just go ahead and assign the tip. But in this case, it was James and his wife. And so James saying um, that he has lots of experience in the restaurant industry um, from being a server himself all the way up to running a restaurant, he knew that was odd. And so what he did was he called the restaurant as yes, they were sitting there to ask them, you know, is this usual uh, that you guys will put on, you know, the tip already? And he says that the server or actually the person answering the phone didn't know. So they went and got the manager and the manager said, yes, it is something that we do. We do it to everybody. Everybody gets... Um, their tip automatically added on. And so James said he still didn't believe it. And so what he did was he asked the white couple that was sitting um, not too far from them, hey, did you guys get a tip added on to your bill? And the couple said, absolutely not. And so from that point, he called the server and the manager to the table and he said they both admitted that they lied about the 20% tip being added on automatically because that was a deal, right? It was automatically supposedly be done. And so they admitted to it and said they were sorry. They wouldn't do it again. The manager basically said, I went along with the story because the server, you know, um, knew she was caught basically and lied. And so he just went along with the story, hoping that it would kind of smooth things over, but they weren't able to get over on James and his wife. And so from that point, James went on his Facebook and posted a pretty lengthy explanation of what happened. Basically what I just told you. And from that point, the post went viral and it got a lot of attention, right? And so then the owner reached out to him, the owner, Desi Vega himself, reached out to James and his wife and, you know, pretty much apologized and things like that. And James told him, okay, great, fine, whatever. But there's some things that you need to do because they said they felt like the owner's uh, apology was sincere. So they told him that they wanted him to do a few things, okay? Now, one of the things was, they didn't want the, um, they weren't necessarily advocating for the server and the manager to be fired. He, they said they would leave that up to the owner. And so it seems like as of now, the owner put the manager and the server on a two week paid, uh, unpaid leave or something like that. So they said that's up to them. Then they also wanted, um, they said, well, they said they didn't want a lawsuit. They weren't looking for revenge. They just wanted people to know that that was their experience there. And then they wanted a public apology and an acknowledgement from Desi Vega's restaurant saying what happened to him. And then they went on to say that they wanted to, to implement some sort of um, implicit bias training, I guess, to, you know, get their servers and everybody else on board with not doing what was done to them, right? So I guess they wanted a training process. Then they also wanted them to post throughout their restaurant, including in the menu and the re receipts and everything else, their gratuity policy, their tip policy, right? Like how will it work instead of it being an arbitrary thing? Like, okay, well, they're black. Let's go ahead and put 20% on and, oh, they're white. Let's not do it to them because indeed that was the accusation is that they feel like because they were black, they were targeted. And they said the server was like, yeah, you know, for lack of better words, she singled them out because they were um, black. It was um, a racially motivated thing. And so... Um, that's what they, the things that they wanted to do. And then they also wanted them to donate to uh, an organization called Cafe Reconcile that helps youth, um, I guess, find their way into the restaurant business and gives them a second chance, uh, low income youth and underprivileged youth, uh, a chance to learn the restaurant business. And so 
they asked that Desi Vega's restaurant uh, donate to that, which I thought was awesome. But then to me, there was a sixth option. Since they had the uh, attention of the public, especially black people, I think they could have said this is why it's important for us to shop black as much as we can. Because one thing about black people is we have restaurants and we don't have any other businesses, right? So I think they could have used that opportunity to say, you know what? Go recycle your black dollars into black restaurants opposed to giving your money to these big, you know, uh, restaurant chains or you, you restaurants that already have enough money, right? Go go give the money to your own more often, right? So I, I think that's what they could have done, but they didn't. But whatever, the, the Cafe Rec, uh, Reconcile donation um, was good enough for me. And so anyway, thought you should know about that. And if you're out at a restaurant and you feel like your bill is too high, check it out and see if they automatically put on a tip because that's not supposed to be customary, right? So anyway, for more insightful commentary, you guys, please subscribe to this channel and my channel, The Demetri K Show, here on YouTube. Peace.